Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back live here at the Inferno National Touch League. Something special coming your way. The Indomie Noodles All Abilities T1 and T2 final. A new innovation here at the NTLs. I'm joined in commentary by Danny Davis, who's had a massive impact on the sport of touch football. And I know for a fact some of these uh, All Abilities athletes idolise this young lady. Danny, tell us a little bit about what we're going to see. Oh, Adam, I am so excited for this. You have no idea. These guys, you can see a little bit on the footage right now. They're dancing around. They just want to get out there. I mean, this is the first time they've ever been able to compete at a national event. Um, and for some of them, it's actually the first time competing. So it's just a really, really exciting initiative. And it's such a great way to get everybody involved in the sport. So the referees are making their way out in the field. You can see the tunnels. The support these athletes have, our referees make their way out onto the field and we await the arrival of our players now. We've had to break the tunnel. It was too big, the support here for the athletes as they get ready to make their way out. Six I don't think, referees is there. I don't think I've ever seen a tunnel the size of that in all my years of playing. <laughs> it's incredible. So here we go, our two teams, and Sydney Met Silver, taking on the Sydney Scorpions Blue. The players are amassed in the tunnels. It's a party atmosphere here, as you said, Danny. Announced in number order. So the Mets coming on. Number one is Marion O'Reilly. Matthew Bichel, number two. Chris Philpott is three. Cameron Cook is four. Five is Bal Lennon. Shania McKenzie in the number six today. Nicole Wart, seven. Eight is Brandon Secluna. Nine, Christian Toro. Ten is Beverly Parker. Eleven, Riley Franklin. Twelve, Michael Tipper. And rounding out the Mets silver team, number 13, Daniel Delasio. They are the Mets. Have a look how excited they are. And now their opponents, the Sydney Scorpions Blue. Danny Obradis is number... We don't have a number for Danny, unfortunately, but Scott Mitchell is number three. Four, Kieran Stedman. Five is Harry Woodhouse. Six is Fiona Lessels. Seven, Joshua Smith. Eight, John Meehan. Nine, Ian Orbeck. And 11, Caitlin Smith. Also, Ruan White and Kathy Gottwald. Now, Danny, they are our lineups. Have a look how excited they are. We're excited to bring it to you. Give us a little bit of background about what we can see out here today. Yeah, look, there's a in the Mets team, we've got a pretty um, strong presence in the touch football world. They've been uh, playing for a very long time. I believe they're just about to call out the Tier 1 uh, teams as well. So we also have the Tier 1 Grand Final with the Cobras and the Sydney Scorpions Green coming out now. So all four teams will join us out here on the stadium. So the Cobras will line up at the 6.15 time slot with Callum Edmonds, in number one, Timothy Markey will be number two. Three is Michael Cox. Jordan Byrne in the number four jersey. Five, Chris Lyons. Six, Jacob Miles. Seven, Regan Taylor. Number eight, Zachary Kimber. Nine is Isabella Lynch. Jackson Kelly in the 10 jersey. 11, Mark Maguire. 12, David Lee. 13, Dylan Lacani. And 14, Zachary Francis. They are the Brisbane City Cobras. So they'll all be running out both Tier 1 and 2 Grand Finals to sing the National Anthem together and then we'll have the Tier 2 Grand Final up first. So the Sydney Scorpions in the Tier 1, we have Orchard, Adam Orchard, Anad Echia, Nathan Nunn, Chris Smith will be in the 2 shirt, Michael Wade wears number 3 tonight, Zach Jones 7, 8 Nathan Whalen, Simon Isaac is in number 9, Bailey Morris wears the 10, 11, Brett Stenhouse, Tammy Jones and Brian Jones will round out the Sydney Scorpions green team. We have all of the athletes amassed here for the national anthem. What a spectacle. It's pretty incredible, isn't it?
Great work there. Plenty of support here in the stands for the All Abilities athletes. So our first match will be the Sydney Met Silver taking on the Sydney Scorpions Blue. Danny, are there any special rules we need to know about here? Yeah, we've got a few rule changes for the All Abilities. Um, there's a different point score system. So you'll see on the screen come up very shortly. Uh, some of the athletes wearing the long stripy green and yellow socks are the non-certified athletes. So these athletes, if they score a try, it will be worth one point. Uh, anyone without the socks on is a certified athlete and their tries will be worth two points. There are a few minor little rule changes in terms of uh, over the marks and things like that. Uh, and the refs will kind of explain that throughout the game. And I'm sure it'll be pretty obvious. You can see it all kind of happening as it goes on. So, so excited. These teams are about to run out now. You can see a few Scorpions getting out there ready to go. It's pretty exciting that both Scorpions teams have made the T1 and T2 Grand Finals. Absolutely. Home region for both of us, really, Danny, the Isn't Sydney it? Scorpions. <laughs> Proud Scorps here. Um, sorry, though, I had to leave you there. I had, had a bit of a coughing fit. I've had, oh, it's not coronavirus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, don't scare me. <laughs> <laughs> haven't even eaten Chinese food for a few weeks, so it's all good. Um, I am so excited to see what we bring here. It's uh, been a long dream for several people. It's great to have touch football uh, on display, and we really are an inclusive sport at every level, Danny. Yeah, and we've always spoken about the sport being a, uh, a place on the field for everybody, and I mean, like, you have a look at this, and it just is. Like, these guys are brought so many smiles to so many people's faces the last couple of days. It's been... Such a joy being out in the fields with them and watching them compete and play against each other and just honestly bring so much happiness back into the sport. And it's it's pretty incredible. And Graham's done a great job and um, has done a lot of work to get them to this point. And it's pretty incredible to see now that they're taking the field to play off for a national championship. It's a dance challenge out here at the <laughs> moment. These Mets guys have been just upbeat from the time the music started as they started getting ready they haven't need to warm up they've been doing dance size and um, yeah they hopefully that they burn out too much energy in the preparation for the match here oh i'm sure they'll have plenty of energy for this match yeah it's been great to see as they make their way around the the field too lots of selfies being taken they've uh, everyone seems to have gotten right behind this uh, all abilities concept we get underway the mets take the ball up touch call Referee calls play on there. See, so take it forward now. That is Marianne O'Reilly. Acting half. Nice shutdown there from the defenders as well. One out play. Taking the ball wide. That is Beverly Parker. Beverly Parker. Nice switch play there. Through the middle of the ruck goes number eight. That's Brandon Secluna. Hands it off that time to Michael Tipper. Long Tipper, ball. long ball out to the wing, and the winger comes in, shuts it down. Just pulls up a bit short there. Hopefully he's okay. The knee heavily strapped. Cameron Cook, he's been putting his heart and soul onto the field these last two days, and he's just hanging in there, and I'm sure he can get through the next 20 minutes for his team. He'll, he doesn't want to back down. He's in pain every time he takes a stride. There he is in cover defence. When he, when he got that final touch here, he pushed people across. Get over there. I can't. But have a look at him. He's not giving up. No, oh, big touch. Nice touch there, too, from Matthew Bischel. Who have we got in attack here? Number seven, Joshua Smith taking it forward. Nice one-handed long pass. Unfortunately, goes to ground out there on the wing. Not happy with that one. Throws the ball back onto the mark. Number five, Harry Woodhouse. You'll see shortly, Adam, and Harry, Harry gets the ball and he's in open space. No one's going to catch him. He's pretty quick. So John Meehan trucks that one up, as does... Sorry, that was uh, Matthew Bischel taking it forward there. Into half goes Marianne O'Reilly again. There's our man Cameron Cook down the wing. Ooh. Outreached hands, makes a touch. Number four, Kieran Stedman for the Scorpions. Had to make it. Cameron back to his feet now. Trudges back to the mark in disgust. <laughs> shakes his head. Can't believe I was touched. Four on four. But was he square there? Don't think the referees are going to call that one up. O'Reilly takes it into the line. Here we go out wide. That was Beverly Parker again. Gets it down now. Out of half. Big probing run from half. Ooh. Marion unfortunately not able to take that one. Cameron Cook just kicks it back to the Scorpions players. They'll realign here. 
See if they can turn their attack into defence, the Mets. They've got some speed out here, the Scorpions. This number four right now with the ball, his name is Kieran Stedman. And if he gets into some open space too, he is really quick. I actually watched him. Um, someone got an intercept today and they ran the length of the field and he chased them down and got them right in the corner. It was There's incredible. the big fella in the middle, trucks it forward, takes the yards for the Scorpions. So we're seeing the coloured socks that we set out there. That's nice play again from the Scorpions, taking it forward. That was Fiona Lessels. Plays it back there with the foot, old school. So meters being eaten here. Defense coming up off the line. There's Lessels again. Looks for the cutout, can't give it off. She does oh. so, gets it outside. Stedman, he was outside the player then. Play on call, maybe? No, he's just not sure. Bit of confusion around the ruck area here. Some great defense there by the Sydney Mets. They've been practicing it all day there. Up, up, up calls. So making sure that as soon as the Scorpions players get the ball off the ruck, they're moving forward and getting up and putting Here's pressure on. Here's a change on. of pace now as we see the Mets push out wide. That was Brandon Sakluna. Could have been well over the mark there, but we'll play on as we see Matthew Bichel taking it into the line again. Back this time to Sakluna. Takes it forward. Goes to the, the defense. Nice touch there. Shania McKenzie, Shania McKenzie there. Oh, pushed out wide. We see Daniel Delasio back to the short side for Matthew Beachel. Takes it to the middle. Last play. What can they come up with here? Is that Delasio again? He goes right, comes back to the left. Sakluna touched two meters out from the Scorpions line. They'll take it out to the five. Referee right on the spot there. Out of half. Gets it away. Oh. Stedman puts that one down, unfortunately. Let's hear it, Mets fans. Make some noise. Unlucky there for the Scorpions. I really want to see them just get into some open space because wait till you guys see them run. It's pretty incredible. So there we have the big fella, Daniel Delasio. Oh. Look at the speed of Turner's speed He's there. In. Michael Tipper. Hands go up to celebrate. He just goes and checks with the referee. Ran out. All clear. So the opening try to the Mets, let's look at it here in replay. Look at the pace. Comes back on the inside, off the right foot, no obstruction. Unfortunately, the Scorpions defender held up for the obstruction, didn't get the call his way. Michael Tipper, hands in the air, celebrate young man. So Try for every, time. everybody watching at home, the number 12, the reason why the refs put two hands in the air to call that try is that he is worth a two-point try. So he is a certified athlete, and he's just scored a two-point try to open the game. Two-point try there for the Sydney Mets silver team. So back now with the Scorpions in attack. Harry Woodhouse, one of the men you said had some good pace. Plays the ball back to Shania McKenzie. We're joined in commentary now with Paul Sphere, the Women's Opens coach. Are you out here doing some uh, selections for the Women's Opens state team? Mate, that, that, that men's team looks really good. It's good to yeah. see. We, we want to get this up. Beat the scores. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> so, Paul Sphere has joined us in commentary. He's a Mets. Danny and I are Scorpions. We're not biased at all. Go, Scorpions. Ball out to the wing. Oh, Stedman. They're really pushing up off the line. Danielle picked that earlier. A little bit of smack. Oh, he's not happy there. I like bit that. of chat out there too, Danny. <laughs> That's what I want to see. A bit of smack talk. Oh, look, obviously we're here to have fun, but, man, do these guys get competitive. They just love competing. And so they should. They're playing the game. They're out there. As you said, they've practiced. They've trained. This is, this oh, is good move. Go good him. pace. Going to get around. No, nice defense. Good That's Bichel, is it? Yeah, Bichel. Matthew Bichel there. Has to go back to the mark. We're having some fun. And the athletes are having fun. But as you said, they've trained hard for this one. It's, it's not a gimmick. This is a competitive match. Off the right. Here he goes. Down through the middle. But how about the work in defense from that Scorpions defender as well? Just can't get a look at his number yet. We're in tight. But when we do, here he comes up off the line again. Really punching forward. That was number three there. Chris Philpot in attack. 
Matthew Beachel will go into half. The try scorer. Yeah. Here he goes. So that was Joshua Smith that made that touch. Oh, good defence yeah, again. Touch. Oh, he's not happy. He wants an offside <laughs> call. <laughs> he's not going to get it. He's not going <laughs> to get it. So here is, this is a man that made all those defensive reads. That's number nine, Ian Orbeck for the Scorpions. Gives it away. Here's our man with pace. The touch made, number four. That's Kieran Stedman. Couldn't get into the open field. Has to play it back now. Sedman plays it back for Joshua Smith. He hands it off. That is to Fiona Lessels. Orbeck into dummy half. Lessels plays it back with the foot again to Orbeck. Long ball from the big man, number 10. Not sure of his name. We don't have him on our sheet. Is that Denny Obradors? Possibly. Ooh, yeah. I'm not There's sure. There's Orbeck. There. Takes it forward. We'll call this one Obradors. We hope it is. We'll hopefully get his number in a second. That man taking it forward is Harry Woodhouse. There's Orbeck. Taking it forward. Last touch. Good metres made now, but the job for the Scorpions is to hold the Mets down into this part of the field. Let's see what they can do. Yeah, it's better by the Scorpions. They've finally worked their way oh, into the second ball. half of the field. Oh, and they'll get a really good opportunity here in attack. Let's see if they can put one back on the Mets. Yeah, the number nine there put it down for the Mets. That's Christian Toro. He wasn't happy either. A shake of the head. Oh, oh short ball. He's through. It's all clear. Awesome work. That's your man, Danny. You notified us early of his pace. Oh, look at that. Good sportsmanship from the Mets. Kieran. His hand. Kieran Stedman. Let's see it in replay here. The little one-hander. There he is in space. Stedman goes across the line. What's about this for a try celebration? Hopefully we stay on it here. Here he goes. Attempted. Fergo backflip. That'll do me. Awesome work. Nice work, Harry. Is there a drop-off in this um, game? Yes, there will be. If it does go to a draw, there will be a drop-off. So is that a two-pointer? Two Did we see? I yes. Oh, through, through the middle. No touch call. The big, the big man, number 13 for the Mets, Daniel oh. Delasio. Yeah, shooter McGavin. The six shooters go in the holsters. So, yeah, that both those tries were certified athlete tries. So they're both worth two points. So the score now is going to be 4-2. 4-2. Let's have a look at this in replay. It was tapped back. Delasio. A good on the score there from the score. It was a great call from the scores, but Delasio, he he took that ball out of the out of the air and just Delacio focused on the line and off he went. Look at him. He's happy. Oh yeah, shooter. <laughs> He's through from half. He's through from half. He's got a pass. He did. He got to Stedman. Stedman play on the referee gives the call. Stedman down. The Scorpions, I want to strike back here. Off to the big man. Big man in the middle. Gets oh. it away. Oh, play on. What vision, though. That's, that's so epic. He knew exactly where the hole was. And the runner on the wing, too. He was head down going for the try line. As you said, Danny, it's not a gimmick. These guys are working hard. They've learnt the skills of the game. And they're also how, how to read the play. Both of those plays have been outstanding. It's been really cool to watch them. And obviously a lot of preparations gone into this tournament. They have been training. They've been participating in all abilities programs around the country and their respective regions. And, yeah, it, I mean, they've put so much hard work and effort into this, and it does really mean a lot to them. So number five out there for the Mets is Bale Lennon. Now Matthew Beachel. He's oh. working hard. Orbeck up out of the line in defence. Oh, a bit oh. of push and shove. There's some feeling out there between these two teams. Sydney rivals. Mate, just like the old days. Mets and <laughs> scores. <laughs> Bringing back the Biff. No, these guys, look at them working hard there. Down the sideline again. Good. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah, look, all week we've seen some really good sportsmanship and the players have gotten a little bit... Uh, emotional, I guess I would say, and they get a little bit fired up, and it's just a matter of making sure that everybody knows that we're here to have fun, play the sport, and just get on with it. So I'm sure that the referees will sort it, and the most important thing in these games is to make sure that it's consistent, and the athletes know that they aren't allowed to do that, uh, just like in a mainstream game. So the refs will control that, and I'm sure the game will get back underway with no problems. 100% you saw there that the, 
the players regain their composure. The referees had a bit of a chat, and as you said, there's no difference to the rules there. They know that there are limitations, and they'll react accordingly, I'm sure. Absolutely. He's very competitive, that young fella. Yeah, so a forced substitution here for the Mets player. You go off and just have the coach say a few little quiet words in his ear. The Scorpions back on the attack now. Good settle through the middle. Let's hear it for our Mets defense. <laughs> defense. Grounding out to here, getting the crowd behind the Mets in defense. There's Orbeck. Takes it forward again. Nice touch that time by number nine. Christian Toro. Inside pass. pass. Oh. oh. Unlucky there. Really, really good play there to try and throw it back on the inside and get that return ball. But unfortunately, it's ball to ground. It's going to be a changeover. Yep. Mets ball here. Referees just communicating out there. As you said, they need to just explain to the athletes what's happening, what the process is now. And back in. Oh, Little dummy. He's through. No, touch. no through. touch is made. Or will he get there? Good cover defense. Is he going to get there? Oh. No. Touch was made. They're going to call that touch or play on. I think they're going to call that play on. Celebrations in the background. I thought it was a little bit late, but that's okay. Yeah, gee, it was really close. And your man, Cameron, is it Cameron Cook? He got over the stripe, gets the ball down. Let's have a look at it again. No touch there. Not sure what the call was there. Might have been a play on call if he was offside. Look, the referee can't even keep up with him. But he's looking. He's looking for the support. Bo nice Lennon. No, the ball was good. We'll call that play on. Cameron Cook in the corner. He could have put that down a lot earlier than he has there, Denny. <laughs> it's time wasting. Oh, <laughs> big right court. foot step from our man Stedman. Last try oh. right. Cook. Have a dislocated shoulder here. Just a little injury. But see again the concern of the Scorpions players for our man in the Mets outfit. Just checking that he's okay. Has been happening all week and I've seen a lot of players go down and a lot of the guys have come in to, from both teams just to check if they're okay. So there is a lot of good sportsmanship out here and it, it is getting competitive but so we'll love a bit of competition. Might have been a penalty there. I saw... Back in the old days, I would have just faked an injury to come off because I was tired. Yeah. <laughs> so there's our big fella again. He's away down the down the sideline. All back across in cover. This time makes a great touch. Delasio. He certainly wants to have a crack here. He saw a replacement in the Scorpions lineup there. Another yeah, big touch. Great touch. Joshua Smith comes up out of the line to make that one. So Marianne O'Reilly takes it forward. Delasio into half, shouting the instructions. Bichel now gets the ball. He he'll go wide. Oh, nice pass. pass to Cook. Oh, oh, great touch. But he'll go over the line as well. Some good footy being played out there, edge to edge. Using the footy, throwing it around. Not really square on the roll ball again, Cameron. That's not one of his big, <laughs> one of his big things. Aligning for the roll ball, but Delasio in the middle now. Must be last. That's Marianne O'Reilly. Oh, a little oh. hop, left oh. foot step, oh. gets the ball away. Yeah, like I said before, there's been a few rule changes, and the rest will try and be a little bit more lenient, lenient. and try and pull it back a little bit where they can. Obviously, if it's awesome. really obvious, they'll um, they'll pull it up and just explain to them what they've done wrong. But they try to let the game flow a little bit as well. And I think a play like that has minimal impact on the flow of the game. So. It's a good consideration that the referees are applying out there. Um, anything that's going to have a major impact, they'll pull back and explain the situation, as you said. Oh, he's as through. He's through. He's through. He's through. Will he get touched? Bichel calls the touch. Oh, good touch. Matthew Bichel makes the big touch. What about Cameron Cook? He never gives up. He's everywhere, that man. He's everywhere. So that's Joshua Smith for the Scorpions. It goes through. The referee says, mate, sorry, the touch was made. You have to come back. Plays the ball here. We see it again. Yeah, yeah got, got him on the back of the shirt. That's all it takes. Honesty call there for Bichel. Dummy half there, number six. Fiona Lessels gets it out again to that man. He goes for the one-hander. Bichel gets a touch back inside. Oh, great hands. Lessels, full stretch oh. dive. 
last touch. No, it was last touch, I think. Yeah, it was last touch. <laughs> the ref, the crowd <laughs> are giving it to the ref. So crowd no, not happy with that one. Nothing changes in whatever <laughs> level of the sport. The crowd gives it to the ref. And funnily enough, it was a lot of the referees here in the grandstand that were booing there. I'm sure, yeah, that would be cool. And have a look at this. The substitute oh, player coming us. off. He's There's gone. our big man, Delasio again. He's going to go for the corner. Full length of the field. Defender. Oh, he Great stumbles. Touch. What about the chase? Defense. Could have had an injury there the way he went down, unfortunately. Delasio has been having a great game. I'd hate to see him get injured with only three or two or three minutes to go in this game. He looks like he's getting back up. He's ready to go again. Ready to go again. So the Mets on the attacking edge here. Back inside. Brandon Secluna. Told to go back and play the ball. Is that dummy half into position? Dan no, that's not Daniel. That'd be Michael Tipper. Bishul yeah, goes wide, pass. finds Cameron Cook. Cameron Cook's Cook! In. He scores a double! Nice ball there. That was a beautiful pass. Bishul comes across. The lateral movement gets outside his player. Hits Cameron Cook. And a little bit of a dance in the background. Cook says, yeah. Give me a sub. <laughs> Get me off. He's Get had a big off. game, uh, Bishop. He's had a great game. He, he has. A in attack and defense. Yeah. Here Save he goes. Try. You can see there. Heads up play. Picks out the last man in the line of defense. Knows he can get one away, drops it out to the wing. Try time, Cameron Cook. That's his double. You said early, Danny, that he will not give up, and he certainly has it the whole game. Yeah, he's been absolutely amazing. So has the number two as well. Sorry, I've just forgotten his name. Yeah, Matthew Bischel. Matthew Bischel. He's been so good as well. Like, I mean, he's taken off from half. He's gotten through. He's drawing players in, passing, using the ball. It's really good. This young fella... John Meehan, I think it is. He's also been good for the Scorpions. No, it's not Meehan. It's Harry Woodhouse. My apologies. The man with the hat on. You see just there, number five. Little handoff play. Doesn't work that time for Stedman. There's 10 seconds to go here. It's looking like the Mets are wrapping up this All Abilities Tier 2 Grand Final. Here we go. The countdown started. Oh. And there goes the Hooter. The Mets all celebrating down in the sub box. All being told to get off the field. The players have finished. The refs have called it. And, and it's the game over. There goes Cameron Cook onto the field. Celebrations for the Sydney Mets. Outstanding. And well done to the Sydney Scorpions. Great end of the game there. Sydney Mets were outstanding. Matthew Bischel, very, very impressive in attack and defence. Great work for from both teams. Cameron Cook with a double. Spearsy, you got that one away, Mets. Mate, that's our first victory for the tournament. I'm really happy. One for the Mets. One to the Mets so far. Tony Dorby, extremely happy from the Mets exec, so we're very happy. Look at the celebrations. Celebrations. That's priceless. That's unreal. And they're all out there. A lot of scorps out there together. As we said, great support here in the grandstands for both teams. The Sydney Mets coming to the sideline celebrating. And it, it's a spectacle for us here to see these athletes, and that's exactly what they are. They've trained hard. They've prepared. They've put up with the conditions throughout the tournament. They've been included in the whole tournament. We've had, you know, the able-bodied athletes taking selfies. They've celebrated with us here. There's plenty of people left in the grandstand. Danny, uh, you'd have to be impressed with that first final, and we look forward to the second one. Sorry, Danny, we just had you turn down there. I was just saying that you'd have to be impressed with what we saw. We're looking forward to that second final. Oh, super impressive. And I mean, like this Mets team and Scorps team have come out for the Tier 2 Grand Final. So if that's what we have to offer for Tier 2, I can't wait to see what's on offer for Tier 1. So now we await the commencement of this second final here 
in the All Abilities Touch. New referees come onto the field. So the Scorpions and the Mets Silver. We've been through the lineups previously. So now we have the Brisbane City Cobras taking on the Sydney Scorpions Green. Yeah, the Brisbane City Cobras are a makeup of the UQ Rebels and the Southern Storm in Queensland. Uh, both Queensland State Cup finalists, the UQ Rebels successful there. Uh, the Sydney Scorpions team are a mix-up of the Hornets and Manly team in New South Wales and also victorious in the Vorden Cup. Uh, it's pretty cool. These two teams have never met before uh, and I think this is going to be a pretty big grand final. So the start of all abilities... Touch football, state of origin rivalry. We may as well say it. It is. Yeah, come on, the Scorps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Here we go. Yeah, we I'm, converted I'll, him. I'll, mate, I'll be supporting the Scorps. We Any victory against him. Queenslanders is a good victory. <laughs> Somebody press record on that one. Come on, the Scorps from Paul Sphere. I'm Mets sure, through I'm sure I've got a lot of bad messages now. <laughs> <laughs> now it's great to have these athletes out here. The Brisbane City Cobras, uh, an impressive outfit. As they ran out, you can just see lots of pace across the board here in this game. Yeah, there'll be a few players to watch in this one. The number 10 from Scorps, Bailey, uh, and also the number 7 from Scorps, Zach. Oh, wow. In the Brisbane City Cobras, uh, we have a few excellent players in Jacob Miles and Jackson Keatley as well. So set play we've seen here already from the Scorpions. Much more fluid movement in this division. So left foot step there, just a bit of a stumble. Sweep a play, Little wrap rattle. around, oh, intercept. intercept taken. Here he goes. Will he make it? I don't know. Good ball. Nice touch in cover too. Great cover defence there. Here we go. Oh, oh forward pass. No look pass there attempted. So that's Jacob and Jackson working together there. Uh, the number seven and the number ten. Uh, sorry, the number six and the number ten for the Cobras. So number seven now for the Scorpions brings it back into play. Zach Jones. See him wearing a... a uh, uh, what do we call it? Scrum, headgear, head scrum cap um, in rugby. You see Defense. the Scorpions now Defense. take the ball back into the attack. Last opportunity they had was the intercept. They've turned oh, it over. The big oh, dump. Nice, dump. nice quick dump right on the mark too there from Zach. Big fella at half. Brett Stenhouse. Back nice inside. Switch. Switch. switch play. Good, Good hands. Release. Oh. oh, look for the flick pass. That's Simon Ishak. Wow, that Six was... touches. That was incredible by... I'm sure it was Bailey there with that little flick pass on the inside for the switch there. That was pretty amazing to watch. Yeah, Ishak there just takes it too and went for the line. Nice defense now from the Scorps. Cobras. Good Take down. it into the line. That's a good put down there for Jackson Kelly from the Cobras. Another nice settle there. That man is Jacob Miles. Penetration Ooh. in the defensive line. The big fend up. It's an accident. He wanted a penalty there. Doesn't get it his way. Chris Lyons. And they're waving to each other saying, it's all right, mate. Let's just keep playing. Let's just get on with it. That's right. There we have a wraparound nice call. Step. Number 11. Oh. Off the left foot, Mark Maguire. Now, Mark Maguire is a non-certified athlete. You can see the coloured socks. They pulled up the socks. So he'll get one point if he scores. There's a couple in each of these teams now. Has to go back for that touch. It's been impressive so far, this fella. Simon Ishak for the Scorpions. This is Bailey Morris taking it forward there. Ishak again, punches out wide, finds a hole out in the link, goes for oh. the space. Oh, Could have gone himself score. there. Definitely could have gone through himself, and it was really nice cover defense there by the Cobras just to hold it up and not bite in on him. Brett Stenhouse gives the ball. Nice little offhand back inside. Oh. Unfortunately for Ishak, just loses his footing again. Some great skills on display here. Ishak not happy that he went to ground there. Apologizes to the Cobras as he threw that ball down in disgust. Oh, that might be half quarter and offside penalty no, I here. I think we've got an offside yeah. penalty. Well spotted, Danny. He looked to break away there, Jacob Miles. He looks a bit quick too. Yeah, that's uh, the one I told you at the start. So that Jacob Miles and that Jackson Keeley, they're going to be the two players of Cobras that are really going to be the players to watch. And so Miles the takes a tap off the left foot. Nice little stutter step too. 
Defense. Chris Lyons Defense. into half. Gets the ball out wide. That's coming to Jackson Kelly now. Little step off the right foot. Doesn't find the space he was after. So there we go. Look at him go. Jacob Miles into the line. Jordan Byrne was the half there. That one is Chris Lyons. Back nice this pass. time. Great defense. Beautiful catch too. Sweeper. Nice defense. Here Jacob he Miles, here he comes. That's Chris Lyons. Final touch now. The Scorpions defending hard on their own line now. They have to move forward. And unfortunately for the Cobras, a drop ball. But straight back into play, the Scorpions. They don't waste any turn time. Turn defense into attack. They certainly don't. Stenhouse takes it forward. As does oh, good work. Chris Smith. That's awesome. Smith takes another touch there. Bailey Morris at half. He picks up Zach Jones. Nice Jones out to Ishak. Ishak steps back into traffic. Stenhouse picks up. Jones on the wraparound. Off the left foot. Turns himself around. Doesn't get outside his man on that occasion. Stenhouse into half. Brings it back to Ishak. Ishak gets it oh. inside. That one was Bailey Morris. Unfortunately, the ball goes to ground. So the Scorpions not able to convert opportunity into points there. We're still nil all after five minutes. The Cobras take it up the center of the field. Jack, uh, Jackson Kelly on that occasion. Yeah, both teams are just absolutely giving it their all here. You can tell that they've just got their foot on the pedal and ready to run. And as I say that, Jacob nice Miles, good pass. good pass. Oh, and a great touch by the Scorpions to cover that. Shut down defense there from Michael Wade. Had to make that one. They had a man outside. Wasn't able to get away. Wade comes in, shuts down the opportunity. Nice unders line there too for Regan Taylor in the Cobras outfit. He come inside that Lincoln middle player. Looked like a great angle. Here we go. Cobras on the attack. Left foot. Jackson Keatley with the ball. He's got a good step. He's quick. Oh, we got an intercept. intercept. Here he goes. Oh, and he's been touched. That's Stenhouse there. He'll bring it back. Sucks in the big ones. Bring it back for Ishak. Ishak gets it inside now. That's Wade. Or well, Zach Jones, my apologies. Great rucking up the field here. Stenhouse by the down the yes. outside. He's through. Oh. oh. Forced the pass inside. Going to give a late pass there. He's good recovery from the defender there. I think he was uh, thinking that Stenhouse might have stepped out when he didn't get the call go his way. He just put his head down and chased. Absolutely. So never give up attitude from the Broncos defenders now. Up goes Timothy Markey on that occasion. Another good meter Great eater up. there. Dylan Lakenny. Dylan Lakenny took the team forward. That was good momentum. As does Timothy Markey again. Acting half, Jackson Kelly. This one out for Jacob Miles. Left and right step, Jacob too. Down goes the ball this time. Mark Maguire into half. Taking it forward. Regan Taylor. Pass over the top. Just gets away from um, Jacob. Miles. Jacob. And ball goes to ground. Not happy, Jacob. Yeah, Jacob's one of those real competitors. He doesn't like losing. <laughs> But he is a really, really uh, oh. big asset to this team. And he might be able to produce something here now that the Coppers have the ball back. Bailey Morris not happy to put that one down. These Scorpions players are working hard. I don't think I've seen a substitute for the Scorpions. Yeah, they've had one. They have had one. Yeah, number three came in. Nice little rap nice play rap. here. Oh, and he just can't get his hands to it. But the thing is... The vision's there. They want to. They are setting up these plays with ease. It's just that little bit of execution, and that'll Sneaking come with Sneaking down progress. the outside right here. He's through. Little step off the right foot. Length of the field attempt. Great nice touch. Nice touch. Great touch there by Jacob Miles. I think it's Nathan Whalen that made that break for the Scorpions. Let's have a look at it here. You can see the look of determination on the face of Jacob Miles as he makes that Great touch. touch. That's a big, big touch there. Scorpions back on the attack. Ishak oh, gets a nice ball out. Great little step. Right foot step for Wade. He comes back to the middle. Goes back to Ishak. Ishak takes it a one-hander. Settle down, says Ishak. <laughs> Zach Jones is turning the defense inside out. I'd love to see him get some more footy. That oh, is oh, nice dummy. As I say it. <laughs> Woo! He celebrates there. Have a look at the man. He's very, very happy. Settle down now. Let's get composure, he says to his teammates. That's number three coming across. Michael Wade to congratulate him. 
Let's have a look at it on replay, Danny. Talk us through this one. Yeah, look, he's just, he's got so much vision, this guy. I mean, he gets the ball here, looks to draw and pass, gets through. All game, he's had that really nice tight footwork. And just look at the excitement on his face. Sort of giving it a little bit to the Broncos defender there, or the, sorry, the Cobras defender. Try scored for the Sydney Scorpions. Stenhouse, he's Tyler's the big man for the Scorpions as well in the middle. He's just pushed out to the wing there to have a breather. As is Ishak. Here's number two, Timothy Markey, into the line now for the Cobras. And here goes Dylan. Oh, trying to dive over the line there. Touch made. He'll take the ball out. Dylan's actually a uh, Gold Coast boy, and he participates in the Gold Coast All Abilities program. So it's cool to see him out here at the national titles competing in the grand final. Getting an opportunity to play with the Cobras teammates at the tournament. Outstanding. A little one over the top. Referees have called that one forward. As we saw Zachary Kimber there going for the line, but unfortunately that was a pass that, that he received was forward. So the Scorpions with another opportunity. Bailey Morris takes the tap. Wade goes into acting half, picks up now, gets a ball back inside to the try scorer. Stenhouse gives it off to Ishak. Goes back into half. Morris working busily there in the pink boots. He was looking to come in for the scoop, I'm sure. Just pushing across the field. Comes to step back off that right foot. Gets a quick roll ball. That's great skills. It's very skillful. Ishak gives it off to Morris. Morris gets the ball jump. down. Ishak picks up one-handed. Stenhouse comes around on the wrap. No, change of pace now. Oh. Not. Six to go. And it will be six to go for the Scorpions. They'll get a set here on the line. That's We're just over killer. halfway. Yeah, it is, isn't I it? I think it was on the last touch, too, for yeah. the Scorpions. So now he goes into the line. Oh, nice pop up. Zach ball, Jones. That's Wade. We'll get the ball down. Zach Jones is dangerous. You don't want to give him too much space. The ball's away. Ooh, oh, good. oh they're going to call it back. Nathan Whalen, my apologies to the gentleman wearing the number eight. What? He says. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh. No arguments, just and oh. The, and you know what? That's a lot of the time. We just The refs just need to explain it and, and just explain why they're pulling it back. And the athletes are always fine with it, and they totally understand once the refs had a conversation with them. There's some uh, able-bodied touch players that could learn a thing or two from that. There are. <laughs> <laughs> I won't name names. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it later. <laughs> so now the Cobra is back into the attack here. Number eight brings it into play, Zachary Kimber. They need to go forward here. There's a lot of a lot of sideways movement for the Cobras. Yeah, I mean, the Cobras are, are a really strong unit and um, they probably haven't come up against a team like the Scorpions before. So it'll just be about this next half um, of the game, just regaining that composure and Great playing touch. to their strengths. Stenhouse leaving the ground to make that touch. Kimber taking it forward. This is the other young fella you talked about. Dylan, Dylan Lakenny. Six, Six touch. Touches. Bailey Morris, he's tireless for the Scorpions in the pink boots. Oh, Bailey, he's a good bloke. He actually went to school with Shelley. Oh, nice. Grew up with Shelley, went to Narrabeen uh, School on Sydney's Northern Beaches. So he's a local born and bred manly boy. Awesome to see him out there just giving it his all today. Isn't he giving it his all? Absolutely. Oh. Take a sinker. Oh. oh. Good catch and pass skills there too. That's a great ball. He's been on fire. Zach. Zach, Zach Jones. Hasn't he what? Look just, at this. This big fella here with the ball too, Stenhouse, that little sinker over the top, catch and release. Got that away in time too. Great skills, just didn't have the, the support. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, Cobras will have the ball. Dylan Lakenny taking it forward, meter eater. Yeah, good settle. Uh, that one will be play on. Yep. Oh. Unfortunately there, Michael Cox puts that one down. The mark being awarded by the referee. Stenhouse gets it off to Ishak. Ishak will take some yards. Look at that. Good oh, drive nice. off the right foot too. He's had a big game, this Ishak. Yes. They've really shared it around the Scorpions. It's been a very impressive team effort. There's Ishak again. Out to Jones. On the wraparound, Ishak gets the ball away. Here we go. Whalen. Will he get it? Yes, oh, he does. Nice what a try. Michael Wade on the receiving end of beautiful passing skills from the Scorpions. Two points for that try. Signaled by the referee. The Scorpions lead 4-0. Let's have a look at it on replay again. We talked about the combinations forming here. Stenhouse gives it off to Ishak. Ishak hits Jones, wraps around. That's a beautifully timed pass. 
Beautiful ball out to Wade. Goes hard for the corner. The cover coming across in Callum Edmonds. Not able to get there in time. Try time Scorpions in the corner. That is a really skillful play. and oh, Almost got a try out wide for the Cobras to hit back. But a great touch there by Ishak. So there's Lakenny now takes it forward. It was Jackson Kelly that made the break down the outside. Here he is again with the ball. He looks likely to score here. Little step. Nice defense from Jones. Play on. Oh. No, they had too many goes at it that time. Little fumble. It's a massive credit to the Cobras here. They're, they're sticking with it and they're not giving up. But I've just had a look in the Scorpions box. They've only got two subs. And they are doing some tough running out there. And it's pretty amazing to see them still running at this pace. Ishak, so look at the leaders here. Straight through the middle. The defense, number four, comes across Ooh. in cover. A hard touch. He's all right. He's okay, he says. Not a problem there. I mean, he's he's done a lot of Ks. He's had a big game, Ishak. You'd and like he helped that set up that second try by Kuat in the overlap when he wrapped him. And Absolutely. the defender just coming forward to say sorry, mate. You saw him just come into the side of shot there just to apologize oh, for the hard touch. Mate, he deserved a he rest. Deserved I think it. he's earned it. So we've got about five minutes to go here. I'd love to see Scorpions put another one on and, and just extend their lead into this grand final. And you might have your wish as we see Stenhouse go into half. Morris takes it forward. There's Jones, the left oh, foot step oh. this time, dummy. Nice shutdown defense from Jordan Byrne in the Cobras outfit. Stenhouse goes for that one over the top again. Close to the line. Morris, nice good hands pass. out. Oh. Unlucky that time, put down by Chris Smith for the Scorpions. Both teams have been impressive. It's just the Scorpions have converted two opportunities. Nice Bailey, great touch there. Oh, has he, he's called it. He's called it. Didn't didn't appear that the uh, the attacker felt any contact, but he'll go back to the mark. Nice momentum there. That's a good punch forward as a settler. Michael Cox there taking it forward. Gets it out wide now. Cobras now push forward. That is Callum Edmonds. The final touch of the set. The Scorpions back on the tack. Morris. Jones picks it up. Gets it outside to Whalen again. Or Wade, apologies. That's Whalen now. Picks up. Oh, oh little dummy. Oh. No, touch was called. Beautiful touch Great there touch. from number three. Michael Cox going across in cover. Just in case he wasn't sure he needed to go back. <laughs> He's checking with him. Just you get me? Yeah. Okay, mate. No dramas. Other defender points. Yeah, back you go, mate. I got gotcha. you. Taking it forward there is number three, Michael Wade. Nice oh, ball from Morris. Oh, passing there through. Oh, and a great finish. Awesome finish for Chris Smith in the right-hand corner. Let's have a look at that one in replay again. As you called it, perfect draw and pass. Oh, that was great. Um, I couldn't see who made the pass there, so I'll just wait for the replay. We had the number three. Michael Wade takes the touch. Great gets ruck. it down to Stenhouse. Stenhouse dishes off the ground to Morris. I think it's Morris that gets it away. Look nice. at that drawing pass. The number five comes in and shuts it down. Chris Lyons. But unfortunately for Chris Lyons, Bailey Morris took it right to the man. Beautiful delivery. Ooh, ooh, Try ooh. time in the corner. Well done, Bailey. And we've had a little, just a little accident. rough touch here. But again, have a look here. The camaraderie of the athletes. They come forward to check on the condition of the man on the ground. That man is David Lee for the Cobras. Just making sure everything's okay and they all seem to be sweet and game back underway. There's a touch from Jones. Lee into half now. That's Mark Maguire taking it forward. And through the gap there, Chris Lyons. He's been busy since he's come on to Chris Lyons. Try. He's a try. Oh. Dive over. Oh, great touch made there by the number three, Michael Wade. What about this other athlete that's come on? I'm not sure of the number. Number five she is. Number five. Not 100% certain. It might be Tammy, Tammy Jones. Jones. I'd say it's Tammy Jones on the field there. She's going to take a hit up now and make an impact on this grand final. Oh, and Zach just put the ball down there and... 
He'll be he'll Here be a little go. bit upset, but he's all right. Let's go. Cobras turn it like into attack. Score. Straightens up there. Stenhouse with a big grab as he went past the line. Out he comes again. That's Chris Lyons. He's been oh, busy. There's that. a reaching quick, touch. Oh, Tammy. Great work. Big oh, long pass. Oh. oh, unlucky there, Jacob. Just put the ball down. What a pass yeah. out to the wing there. And Jacob ready to take it and dive over the line. But did you see as soon as the ball left his hand, Zach Jones in the defensive line started apporting the pass, <laughs> celebrating the athletes on the opposition side because that was great skills demonstrated. Well done to Zach Jones there as the Scorpions come back on the attack. Here he is now with ball in hand. He'll take it forward hard and goes off the left foot, turns around the pivot, back into the middle. A little shake of the head there. Yeah, you got <laughs> me. He told him good touch. Yeah, I'll have another crack here. Stenhouse into half. Ishak. There's Jones again. Tammy Jones what a outside. Pass. Oh, good Great oh, hands. Michael Lee. Oh, will he get there? What about the chase coming across in cover? Oh, Jacob Miles. Great cover touch there. What about the pace on that fella? Lee, I think it is. Zach again. Oh, Joy. and he set it up again. Is it clear? Oh, no, Chris no, Smith it's it is. Clear. Chris oh, Smith. <laughs> oh. On, on the hooter, Chris Smith for the Scorpions takes it out. Eight, tr eight points to to zero for the Cobras. Sydney Scorpions celebrate in the stands. That's been outstanding. Let's have a look at it again. Jones goes from half. Little you and me play back to the winger. Smith dives in the corner. Oh, beautiful skills. That is Ferguson like, I've got to say. Oh, mate. That's oh. good vision there to go back to that short side and create the number, the overlap. Yeah, look, for me, Zach Jones was an absolute oh. standout in that game. It's. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory. Everybody watching at home saw him do what he does best, and he was outstanding on the field. The man on screen, too, Stenhouse, worked tirelessly in attack and defence. A big man in the middle. He certainly got the dis distribution going, but I have to agree, Zach Jones. He didn't come off. Incredible. <laughs> incredible. Game. Well, that's what it's all about. All abilities touch football. Proudly brought to you by Indomi Noodles. The T1 and T2 finals here at the 2020 National Touch League, the Inferno National Touch League. As the banner says out there, this is touch football. We are an all-inclusive game. Danny, I know you have to get down to your athletes to celebrate with them. Give us a final wrap-up. What have you thought of the finals? Oh, mate, proud. I'm just so proud to see them out there. I'm almost in tears. It's just really incredible to see them just doing their best and giving their all and Getting, to, getting the reward for it. They're national champions. They're all champions. So, yeah, it's just it's amazing. Get ready for the party, Danny. <laughs> I can't wait. The dance moves out there, they're going to rival me. Awesome. <laughs> Great to have you on board, Danny. Thank you very much for joining me, Spearsy. We look forward to bringing you more action for the National Touch League tomorrow. But that's the first of our celebrations. Well done to everybody out there. The All Abilities. Graham Clancy, well done, young man. Touch football specialised. And that was the Indumi Noodles. All abilities, T1 and T2 finals. Thank you for joining us. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you here tomorrow for the finals day of the 2020 Inferno National Touch League.
When I'm traveling, I love having plenty of room. Did you know Core has great apartment brands like Mantra, Peppers and Art Series? Get the luxury of space in amazing locations all over Australia and New Zealand. Great offers too. Live limitless. To the Core. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the presentation ceremony for the 2020 Inferno National Touch League in Tommy Noodle's All Abilities Division. Please welcome to the field our official presentation party, Mr. Jamie O'Connor, Touch Football Australia CEO, and Mr. Graham Clancy, Touch Football Australia National Inclusion Manager. We'd also like to thank Danielle Davis for all her help over the week. It's our pleasure to commence proceedings tonight with a speech from Touch Football Australia CEO, Mr. Jamie O'Connor. Uh, thanks very much, Luke. Um, well, like the last couple of days have just been exceptional. I, I hope you guys have had and girls have had an enormous amount of fun. Um, it's probably the, you know, we've been around 50, 51 years now, our sport, and this is the first time we've had an all ability division in our national championship. That's something that, as an organisation, we're really, really proud of. And you guys have made history here this week. You'll, be, you'll always go down as the first all abilities athletes that have attended a national championship. So, you should be really, really proud of yourself. So I hope you've an awesome time. I'd like to thank Graeme Clancy. Um, Graeme's been at this now for our... Graeme's been at this now for eight or nine years, um, and it's a really special story. Um, and it's something that I'm really proud of uh, for the last couple of years has, has been involved in helping him get this off the ground, but all of the work that's done behind the scenes by Graham over the last eight years is, 
He's been unbelievable when it comes to fruition today with um, you guys and girls getting the opportunity to be able to play on um, the, the, you know, the stadium field in Coffs Harbour at the National Championship. So once again, thanks very much to Graham. Top side wing Denny. Uh, Denny's been enormous for us um, over the last uh, nine to twelve months as she's been working with us in, in helping Graham get this out of the ground uh, and then coming down as part of our events team and then pulling this together over the last couple of days. Uh, Denny's wow. done an enormous job for us, so we thank Denny very, very much. <laughs> Let's get you guys together, okay? It's our pleasure to commence proceedings tonight with the Tier 2 in Domi Noodles All Abilities Division. First and foremost, we'd like to congratulate our referees, Nick Alton, Greg Taylor and Paul Kite. After a valiant effort in the final and a great tournament, I would now like to welcome our runners-up to come forward and accept their medallions from our presentation party. The Sydney Scorpions Blue Side. Before we invite our champions forward, I would like to introduce and congratulate our player of the final. The player of the final was from Sydney Mets, number two, Matthew Bishop. I'd now like to call forward our champion, Sydney Met Silver, to collect the medallions and possibly say a few words. Thank you, everybody. Another star. See you see next year. Uh, so, 
just wanted to thank everyone, Touch Football Australia especially. We started six years ago playing in the mainstream comp out at Penrith. And um, oh, I'm getting a bit emotional. <laughs> <laughs> and, I had no um, and all I ever wanted was for them to be treated like everyone else. So I thank you for the compliments that in the last couple of days. And I'd just like to thank Graham Clancy um, as well uh, for all your support over the last few years for us. And we'd also like to thank Sydney Max as well for their support uh, for this trip. So we'll uh, continue doing what we're doing and um, hopefully bringing more awareness for uh, people with disabilities in sport. So hashtag sport is for everyone. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2020 Tier 2 Indomie Noodles All Abilities Champions! We now move on to our Tier 1 Indomie Noodles All Abilities Division presentation. We would like to begin by welcoming our referees to come forward and accept their finals appointment medals. Brad Smith, Mitch McKenzie, and Phil Falcon. <laughs> After a valiant effort in the final and a great tournament, I would now like to welcome our runners up to come forward and accept their medallions from the presentation party. The Brisbane City Cobras. Before we call up our champions, it is now time to announce the player of the final. The player of the final from Sydney Scorpions Green, number seven, Zach Jones.
Cobras. We're playing absolutely a stunning tournament. Um, to the refs, been doing an amazing job throughout the um, competition. And thank you for the fans. Well, not now, but um, they were cheering nonetheless. And um, yeah, and the coach. <laughs> Thank you, Thanks, Andy. Well said. Uh, can I just echo the sentiments of Brooke before? This is an outstanding event. Uh, the work that's gone into to get to this stage cannot be underestimated. To Graham Clancy, and I know he's got a big head at the moment because everyone's sitting here raving about him. The work that he has done behind the scenes to make this a reality is just unbelievable. And the results of these two days are testament to what can be achieved if you have a dream and you believe in it. So to Graham, a round of applause, thank you very much. <laughs> to Touch Football Australia, again, we've been involved now for the Borden Cup for four years and to roll into this. We've always felt like part of the, part of the organisation and we've also always been included, which has been absolutely amazing and we thank you very much for that. To the Scorpions, We'll see you tonight for a drink. Thank you very much. The drinks are on you. And to the team over there that are waiting for me, we came together as a rabble. We lost six players the week before the tournament, and yet we still turned up and delivered. Thank you very, very much. Ladies and gentlemen, your Indomie Noodles All Abilities Champions, the Sydney Scorpions.